All right, so I was just editing this video. Before you guys get too far into the video, I want you guys to go check out the top link in my description. It's a summer sales position. It's called Aptive. I've actually partnered with them, uh, if you guys have seen on my Instagram. But there's a link in the top description of my YouTube bio. It gives you a little more information about it. You can check them out on Instagram at Aptive Alpha. I actually have a collab post with them on my Instagram. If you guys are just looking for some information or you guys are looking for a summer internship or a summer job position. But top link in the bio if you guys want to go check that out. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get back into that. Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog, another day, another opportunity, another chance to breathe, man. I'm actually feeling really good this morning, really excited for the day, honestly, because I feel well, my body feels great, I feel healthy, and I've been listening to worship music all morning, so I am in a very good headspace today. Anyways, right now, I am heading to the facility to hit with my boy Yates. They don't want me to come back to campus early, even though I feel good and everything, so they asked me if I could just stay and wait a day, so I'll probably go back later tonight or tomorrow morning sometime. Uh, not 100% sure, but I am very excited and very grateful that I am feeling well. I haven't hit in like six days, and that's probably like the longest I've gone without hitting. I don't think I lost anything. I don't think I lost the flow or anything like that. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the facility when we get up with Yates. Right now, the song of the day that I've been listening to man it's called house of the lord you know when you try to show your friend something and it never like never works i've been using this speaker like crazy but anyways man i'm see y'all when we get to the facility see y'all when we see my boy yates let's have a day man let's win the day baby let's go Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. All right, bro. So look at my the grip on my goods, bro. You can literally see it flaring. So you know what I'm about to do? I grab this year electrical tape. I'm just gonna tape the whole handle down. I think we're getting one more shipment of bats, but I don't know when, don't know what I'm gonna get. But I think I'm gonna get the 24 Voodoo instead of this one, or I'm just gonna get stronger and figure out how to use this bat. I'm undecided, but I gotta tape this thing up. So, I 
I'm done hitting. I don't care about any of that right now. I just got a special text. I told you guys I get DMs sometimes. People reach out, and I had somebody reach out to me, and I'm trying to keep this as, as closed as I can. Wanted to share an email with me, and I'm like, okay, you know, send me an email. I wasn't sure if it was business related or what. So it sends me an email, and I open the email. It's, 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 kids, it's a kid's testimony. And he's sharing his testimony and he's sharing how his walk through Christ and how it's gone and how he's gone to chapel with his family and his family has impacted him to do this. And he's about to get baptized, right? I'm watching the video. And I'm gonna show the video. I asked him, he said it was okay. He's reading it. He's got it all written out on a piece of paper. But I want you guys to see this video and I want you guys to understand that this has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with me. And when I, when I tell you, I just ran around this building, this facility that I'm at right now, because my heart jumps my heart screams my heart has never never seen something like this never seen someone get so excited for God that they can share their message in front of the church in front of everybody that's around them and make an outward statement of baptism to show that they they want their life changed by God he's reading it and he says he says I've watched Isaiah's videos on YouTube and I've heard him talk about his walk through Christ and how it's not and my mind is blown. My mind is blown not because of me. Not because of me. Not because of the video I made. I don't know which video. I don't know when the week was. I don't know when the day was. I don't know when the month was. But because his life was changed. His life was impacted by God. By God. I said that you guys should live a life that God may live through you. By who you are. By what you say. By how you interact. By how you love people. By that somebody's life may be changed. And somebody's life was changed today. Or this past weekend because of that. Not because of me because of God. God worked in my life to work in his life, and now he knows God for himself. And I'm amped up, man. I'm about to freaking lift, man. I'm about to freaking, I don't know what we pulling. We about to pull something great. Keep reading, man. Keep trying. Keep believing, man. It, it, it's real, man. It's real, man. We should have through this now. My mom, dad, and older sister are Christians. When I was very young, I told my parents that I believed in Jesus too, but I didn't understand much. In the beginning of seventh grade, I started learning more about Jesus by going to Grace Chapel with my family on Sunday mornings. For Christmas, my family did Advent, and that made me more interested in learning about Jesus, his purpose for coming, and I also wanted to learn more about the Bible. Around this time, I also start, started watching some videos on YouTube by someone named Isaiah Hunter talking about his experience in college baseball. However, he also began to share a lot about God's work in his life and how important it is to live for God. This began to do something in my heart, and now I want to keep growing with Jesus and learning more about the Bible. I do devotions every day in the morning before school, and I listen to worship music to start my day. I now feel more at peace, and I pray when I have problems because I know God hears me. And although following God may not always be easy, I will always love him and know that he will be by my side when times are tough. I love baseball, and I'm so glad I found Isaiah's videos because it sparked my love for God to a whole new level. And that is why I want to get baptized. I want to use my gifts and talents for God.
Much later in the day. Back on campus and I uh, just dropped some stuff off in the locker room. I got some new gear since I've been gone. I'll pick it up tomorrow and show you guys. Got practice tomorrow and I'll be healthy and everything to be at practice. But for now, just got back and everything. So I'm about to head back to the dorm. There's an update. Just trying to get it all back now. So I'll see y'all. Me and Brom decide to come outside and read some verses. So how do you usually do this? Where are you starting? You want to go to Mark 4? I'm in 15. 15? Then they twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on him, and they began to call out to him. And they struck him on the head with a staff and spit on him. Um, what he endured, what he went through, um, and I think sometimes we think that God doesn't understand or that we don't feel heard or we don't feel understood. Or we feel like God should be moving differently. I don't know, it's a sense of gratitude. I think there's times where I don't deny, but I do hesitate or kind of just say, you know, this isn't the time. And there's discernment for there not actually no, being the time. Yeah. But there's probably times where I've wrongly discerned and just kind of said, you know, it's yes, just no. not not the time. I don't, I don't, like what they're talking about, like, I don't really feel like it right now. Yeah. And you said it before I left because I was sick. And you said praying happens whenever you believe it is already done. Because sometimes you pray and you, like, wait for an answer. You pray and you're, like, you're hoping, you know, hoping God yeah. kind of, like, yeah. hears it. But when you pray it, if you pray it as though it is. What you have from, uh... Tonight, and look at my notes. Activity despite conditions. I wrote that down. Despite the place, the circumstance, the feelings, and the conflict. That's big time. I think I think that was that was good. Consistency over perfection. So regardless of when you fall short, when you feel God falls short, continuing to try, continuing to believe. Tear up the timeline. God, I trust you. It's gonna be okay. Yeah. I like when he said that. That was good. When he said it, it clicked it immediately. I was like, was and then my last one I wrote, I said, just live in holy expectations. Expecting is big. Expecting. Yeah. Don't let obsession yeah. trip up your relationship with God. Because mm -hmm. I think I put some, I wouldn't say I put the video stuff over it. I think it has a special place. That's good. Sometimes I can kind of mishandle the gift. Right. You know, it it is a gift. It's a, it's a talent that he gave me, and I'm going to pray and expect. I'm going to pray and expect. <laughs> You all good? Yeah, I'm going to meditate on grace too. You know, he says it and you know what it kind of means, yeah. but I want to understand it a little bit more. Because when you talk about having discernment and living um, according to God's will and not your own desires, it hasn't really resonated, that part of how, the, how grace has really made me free from sin. I'm back in my room, man. I just went through some good old verses. I got an Evo shit. I should have got it from my foot. I got an elbow guard that they got us. Uh, it's got a number on it. I've never opened one before. Content will be hardened in minutes. Rip it, fit it, wear it. They don't have normal ones you can buy that are already started? All right. It's gonna harden, bro. Are you sure this is right? Uh, small arms. <laughs> Shut up. This is not about that. <laughs> Hold it there. You know the crazy thing, bro? How does that? Anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I'm probably gonna record this weekend because I think we're supposed to have a scrimmage on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, and I'll probably be able to play in those. Today, I didn't scrimmage. I just did some conditioning. Just kind of got myself back in the flow of practice since we're back in team practice. So basically, I'll just see you guys this weekend with however that's gonna go. I'll let you guys know, keep you guys posted. Maybe I'll catch a barrel or two, and we're just gonna relax. Keep reading your word, keep trying, keep believing. See you on the next video. Man. Go Hawks. There's Rom, you heard it here first. Go Hawks.